crowds of supporters cheered as WikiLeaks founder Julian Assange on Monday won the right to appeal against extradition to the United States. That's after arguing at London's High Court that he might not be able to rely on his US First Amendment right to free speech in a US court. In March, the court had granted Assange provisional permission to appeal on grounds that he might be discriminated against as a foreign national. It invited the US to submit assurances. At the hearing, US prosecutors told the court Assange could, quote, seek to rely upon the First Amendment protections granted to US citizens. But two judges ruled Assange's arguments deserved a full appeal. It is unlikely to be held for months. Hundreds of protesters had gathered outside the London court ahead of the key ruling. As they cheered and sang, Assange's wife Stella responded. The judges reached the right decision. We spent a long time hearing the United States putting lipstick on a pig. But the judges did not fly it. As a family, we're relieved. But how long can this go on? The United States should read the situation and drop this case now. Now is the moment to do it. Just abandon this shameful attack on journalists, on the press and the public that has been going on for 14 years. The 52-year-old is wanted in the US on 18 charges, nearly all under the Espionage Act. They relate to WikiLeaks's mass release of secret US documents, the largest security breach of their kind in US military history. The Australian national was not present in court on Monday, with his lawyer citing health reasons. The US Justice Department declined to comment on a pending judicial matter. Had Monday's ruling gone against him, Assange's team said he could have been on a plane to the US within 24 hours, ending more than 13 years of legal battles in Britain. Shares of Chinese developers wobbled on Monday. Investors were worried about China's major steps to stabilise its crisis-hit property sector. They feared the moves fell short of what was needed to bring a sustainable turnaround in demand and confidence. Hong Kong's Hang Seng Mainland Properties Index dropped 0.7%. It had gained around 18% so far this month, after the Politburo said in April it would work to clear housing inventory. A number of top developers saw shares drop Monday, with the likes of Kaiser and Shimao down more than 10% each. China unveiled measures Friday to facilitate up to $138 billion in funding and ease mortgage rules, with local governments set to buy some apartments. The central bank said it would set up a near $41.5 billion relending facility for state-owned enterprises. That's to help them buy completed and unsold homes at what they called reasonable prices for affordable housing. The central bank expects the relending program would result in $69.1 billion worth of bank financing. Friday's announcement came after waves of policy support measures over the past two years failed to revive the sector. It once made up for a quarter of national GDP and remains a major drag on the economy. A housing ministry publication described the latest policies as a historic moment for the industry, but many China watchers were more wary in their assessment. Analysts said the central government's decision to step in as a buyer marked an important step, but they noted the size of financing on offer pales compared to the estimated trillions of yuan worth of housing inventory across the country. Analysts say reviving home buyer confidence is still the key to a property recovery. However, one market watcher warned few entities will be motivated by Friday's measures under current market conditions. They argued demand for property is weak, with many potential buyers concerned about jobs and incomes in future. Mm -hmm.